the Sports Vote Campaign Podcast. Invest in sports. Hello and welcome back. Today is Sunday, January 2nd, 2022, and this is the Sports Vote Campaign Update. Season 4, Episode 6, 10% and 100%. So, uh, on the SAC class action um, idea that's in process, that's working, we are going to look at possible damages claims uh, as you know, financial damages, because we've certainly suffered them as a result of action and inaction on their part. If you are not presently contributing to our efforts, you have no voice, no voice, no contribution, no voice. The big lie, 1961 Wire Act, not in existence. That's the big lie. The law is obviously still in force. It was restated early last year. Everybody pretends like it isn't there. Either we get a legal system or we don't have a legal system and it's just chaos. It looks like it's trending toward the latter. If that continues, it doesn't bode well for the future of this republic. What did we accomplish in 2021? We're still here when tens of thousands of other businesses with more capital and connections are not, and in spite of aggressive efforts to destroy us. I have uh, contacts, personal friends and contacts that had much more capital and much more connections and their businesses perished as a result of what happened um, in the coronavirus um, epidemic because of it. Vaccines help, vaccines don't help, vaccines help a little, vaccines do not help a little. Vaccines prevent serious infection or maybe not. Uh, Whether you have a vaccine or not, you can get on a cruise or you can't actually now. They're saying that uh, Regardless of your status, you uh, there's they shouldn't uh, allow cruises, which is just this is the craziest bunch of mixed messaging I've ever seen in my life. It's positively insane. I don't trust it a bit. Uh, that being said, it's your own personal decision how you handle your health matters. I'm not a doctor, uh, so I'll just leave that there. Crazy Horse, so Crazy Horse uh, trip fall 2019. It's just interesting to me. Uh, that the, um, you know, that that was part of it. Look up the story of Crazy Horse if you don't know what that's about. Uh, My point here is I do think there's a connection to the Indian tribes for us. Actually, Neil said this a very long time ago before I really understood, Neil Brown, before I really understood what this uh, was all about. Uh, The World Economic Forum has been called off uh, due to the uh, the new surge in the virus. That is a very big deal. Those guys are not going to call that off if it's not serious. Uh, so take that as a signal, clearly. Um, so our former president uh, is now trying to claim that he's a private citizen and trying to make some of these legal cases go away. I, I thought he was still president and he never conceded. And flip-flop, 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 sort of like somebody else um, who's been attacking us for over a decade does. Just whatever serves the moment, right? That's just, uh, does, facts don't matter. It's just, what do I need to say to get out of this present situation? You know, it's unbelievable. The level of dishonesty in our culture and just in the world at large is just, it's, flab- it's flabbergasting. It's beyond astonishing to me at this point. I'm just numb, quite honestly. Uh, player markets do not work. For those of you out there that continue to look at our model and think you can do it better, it's been tried and it's failed many times, losing many, many millions of dollars. Trading games do not work. That's been tried and failed many times. This model works. Uh, it still works. It's the only one that's ever worked, and it's uh, going to do everything that I said it would do once we publicize one legal, uh, one league fundraise. NHL schedule being disrupted by shutdowns. I think you're going to see more of this throughout the other sports. Uh, they're trying like crazy to not do this for obvious greedy reasons, but uh, I don't think they're going to be able to stop it. I'm still seeing lots of interruptions in the schedules. A big thank you to those in the public domain that can't stop talking about me and ASM. You actually cause people to sign up and see what the big fuss is all about. That's pretty funny. And get some new material. Your uh, debunked reruns are uh, not very interesting. And double-minded Dan, here's the answer. I know you listen to this. 
so here's your answer and you know it. So you're once again uh, being deceptive uh, as to what the story is behind the um, resignation back in uh, 2008. Well, Nick's buddy, who I agreed to allow to take over, realized he had to take over the whole thing and not just the parts that he wanted. Didn't want anything to do with that and left me. He wanted to leave me with the wreckage. And when he couldn't do that, he had to take on the whole thing. He bailed and nobody wanted the controls. You know this. So putting that out in the public acting as if you don't is just another uh, strike against you for being the dishonest person you are. And frankly, if uh, if it wasn't for me and some of you are going to have to make peace with this or just get the hell out of here is that I wrote this design okay ace will tell you that he wrote the code i wrote the design so trying to divorce me from the idea is just never going to happen it's, it's never going to happen my name's all over the patent documents all over the architecture and uh, i was the one standing in this role when nobody else wanted it and still i'm standing in this role when, until alper can take over because there's never been anybody serious about taking over this role it's never happened so those are called facts Facts. Maybe that's something you need to learn. You need to look up the definition of that word. You must be a really miserable human being. I can't understand this obsession that you have and your your view on things. It makes no sense. But I guess you just want some attention. So here's some attention for you. In this sick and twisted world, it has become apparent to me that most people think their online statements and behavior do not have real world consequences for them. Like the whole thing is a game. It's not a game. I assure you that 100%. You are dead wrong and you're going to be accountable for your actions no matter how they take place. It might not happen immediately, but it will happen. Nobody gets away with anything. Nobody gets away with anything. And some of you need to get a life and grow up. Spending all your time dreaming up comments about somebody else is quite frankly pathetic. You whine and whine and whine like spoiled little kids. The world does not revolve around you. Frankly, nobody cares. And uh, those of you who like to stir up strife, I suggest that you look up what the Bible thinks about strife causers. It's not very nice. Uh, sports shutting down again for the second time in two years due to a 100-year pandemic. And yet we still have people that don't understand uh, the the value of just surviving all of this stuff um, and posting st a resignation letter from 13 years ago. I mean, really, really, that's that's what you've got. Um, and acting like it's a mystery. You're a backstabber and a deceiver, and you're going to get your just rewards for it. Your day will come, and the full scope of everything you've done, along with your pervert buddy Greg Lucchesi, formerly of Santa Rosa, California, and the rest of your vulgar, vulgar anonymous rodents hiding in the darkness, will have a full accounting of everything you've done. I wonder what kind of parents you had. Leaving out, listen, if you leave out a material fact or you do anything whatsoever that creates a false picture in somebody else's mind, you are a liar and a deceiver. So in the, uh, this is a running tally of the uh, survey which closed out on the 31st for the SEC case. Um, it's obvious that the 10 no votes uh, that were there uh, came from a hand, probably half as many, if not less, of these lying backstabbers. Um, it's kind of amusing that after the survey closed, um, somebody, one of them, um, went to the survey and, and clicked on it like 10 times in a row. There's literally, uh, it timestamps every one of them. So nice try. I guess you were trying to skew the vote. I would expect nothing else from a bunch of deceptive jackasses. But you didn't accomplish anything because I posted the timestamps uh, on the notice board. And uh, so what you did is just show your hand how, how few of you there really are and how, how deceptive and dishonest you are. Those aren't real votes. It's the same person doing it for ten, like 10 times. So all those were deleted. By the way, you missed the timeline. It was uh, the survey ended on the 31st. So all those got deleted anyway. So what a waste of time. Um, there's now discussion about the addiction, gambling addiction rising during the pandemic. Well, what would you expect from a bunch of criminal predators like these uh Gambling promoters, I mean, they, they don't care about that. In fact, they love, they love addict, addictive um, problems because that's their main cash flow. So those of you plotting in darkness and deluding yourselves in fiction, working against your own interest and even lying to government agencies to try to satisfy your evil motives, let me explain to you. None of this is going to work. It's all going to fail and backfire. Um, 
pretty sure that one of the main proponents back there is the same one who's been chasing me around for 10 years after uh, not allowing me to actually even speak, <laughs> let alone have a trial. Listen up. That's what happened, okay? You can try to tell yourself a different story, but it's clear it's in the record. It's never going to stand. You're never going to collect anything, never. You're just going to write more and more and more checks. I haven't lied to anybody about anything. There is no hidden treasure. I spent everything we took in on the mission, including more, therefore the bankruptcy. The second time, that's the second time that that's happened on my personal credit cards. Those things were not for me. They were not... uh, personal goods. They were trips. They were uh, other people's salaries, payments to vendors, all that stuff. So you're wasting your time and your money. And and let me, let me say this. I'm actually ready to actually put this on the record now. None of this is going to work because it's not me you're working against. It's God that you're working against, okay? My purpose here is to put ASM on the ground as an alternative to gambling That's my life's work. That's everything I've ever done has led to this point. That's what this is about. So you're not fighting me personally. You're not not fighting me. I'm just an agent here doing a job on account of the big guy upstairs. So if you think you're going to win that, you're a fool. It's never going to happen. No games uh, means no bets. Uh, That was proven again a few days ago when there was a day with no games at all. And meanwhile, we trade thousands of contracts. This is a huge, huge difference between us and uh, the gamblings uh, on top of everything else. The fact that our platform does not rely on on the playing of games to operate, still operates even when there's no games. Okay, so again, this is the tally. I have an ongoing, in the uh, raw outline posted on the notice board, I just have an ongoing tally. But uh, I got, f- it crossed 40, 40 um, oh, I'm sorry, this is r- relative to signups. Okay, so it looks like the um, Scott Farkas, you know, season, which we didn't put anything out. We haven't for a few years, but all the stuff we have put out is still there. Um, it put up uh, a lot of customers. I think the final tally was like 154 new accounts in a week. And uh, that's not from anything that we're doing. That's not uh, any active efforts on our part. So that is, uh, that's a result of just everything that was done years ago. And then people look for Zach because he becomes as famous as Clint Eastwood for about a month, actually more like 10 days. Uh, and then, you know, they go looking around and they, they run into the um, all the news pieces that we have out there and that drives them to the site. So... Still getting benefits from that um, from years ago. Um, the the Scott the uh, Christmas Story Marathon ran on two different networks this year for 24 hours um, on both of them, which is kind of amazing. Our typical uh, rate of new customer acquisition just from just from momentum is about five to ten per day. Uh, and again, thanks to the rodents for all your. Uh, nonsensical chatter because you just make people go over and go what's the big deal and sign up uh, very interesting what's going on with turkey's currency i will not going to get into a discussion of that here uh, but it's uh it's an ex- extremely volatile right now and it's this is just the kind of thing that happens with a fiat currency um, it's just kind of interesting i've never seen one swing not a, a large market economy which turkey's pretty large um, swing so violently from policy changes. So we ended up with 154 new accounts um, for the week ending December 27th, uh, 21. That, again, that's far beyond normal. I would. It's more like about, uh, you know, 5 to 10 per day. So what is that, uh, 30, you know, it's usually about 30, 30 35 accounts a week is typical. Um, and those of you who like to spend all your time mocking and scoffing, that's another Bible uh, research project for you. doesn't turn out well for you uh, mockers, especially when you, you know, you want to mock me for whatever physical attributes or make fun of me or whatever and think you're being cute. But m- mocking God doesn't work out too well for folks. So I'd be careful with that one. But I'm sure you don't believe in God or you wouldn't be doing such things in the first place. So anyway, it's your soul to lose. Um, we ended up with, oh no, this is still an interim tally, so I'm going to keep going. All right, so back to the NFTs. Um, still not happy with the way this works. If the NFT is under $50, there's still a lot of ways for the customer to mess this up. 
you know, if you don't pick the right blockchain, if you're not using the right currency, if you, uh, you know, there's a, a million different ways to get basically lose your money. And I just don't, I'm not comfortable with it yet. It still needs to be uh, much more simplified and straightforward. And, uh, you know, somebody sees an NFT they like, okay, it's $20. They pull out their credit or their debit card. They enter their um, information and, and that's it. Not $20 and one cent. $20 is what appears on their credit card. Twenty And any, you know, $20 is what um, is reflected in the transaction details. And the, any of the fees are on the backside, meaning they're paid by the seller. Um, you know, just like when you go to Walmart, you know, whether you pay for cash, pay with cash, or you pay with a card, you know, any of those carrying costs for various other payment methods are borne by the issuer, by the merchant. That needs to be the same way. And it, again, people have different wallets and they're not even sure, uh, you know, which crypto wallet they have. And then there's things like bridging between blockchains, between uh, Ethereum and, and like Polygon. And that's not the same thing as directly linking to Polygon. Or I mean, it's just, it's a wonky, nerdy mess. And what I see here is it's way too complicated. And it's just too many ways for the um, for it to go wrong. So I'm going to put this on ice again until this matures a bit further. It's still not there. So yeah, voting no on the SEC survey, that's pretty obvious. Who I mean, <laughs> who in their right mind is going to vote no? Why, the only reason, the only reason that you're going to uh do that is because you're <laughs> you're at the cause side of things. You're you're obviously one of the ones who helped cause this whole thing to happen. Why would you vote no? It makes no sense. I mean, you can keep quiet or but to, to actively say no, actively no, it makes absolutely no sense. And if you want to challenge me on that, go ahead and give your explanation. Send it to help at allsportsmarket.com and I'll publish it. So, uh, yeah, the NFT narrative is kind of like this. Hey, that's a cool NFT for $20. Pop open a credit card payment secure window and exactly $20 is charged to my card. The fees and other techno jumble not visible to me. People barely trust just paying for things online just normal stuff with all the scams going on. If it goes beyond this simplicity, you're climbing an extremely steep psychological hill. Right now, it kind of goes like this. Which wallet are you using? Do you have to transfer tokens from one type to another? Then you have gas fees, which eat up a bunch of it. Do you have the correct blockchain? Oh, no. You sent a USDC coin on Polygon when it was USDC on Ethereum, or was that USDC on a bridge to Ethereum via Polygon? Oops, you messed it up. Your money's gone. Most people are not going to get that far. They're just going to close their window, browser window never to return. And when I mean never to return, I mean they're not going to even deal with NFTs for another couple of years. That's how fragile this stuff is in the public. So again, 2021 20, review, uh, basically, we stayed alive. We're still here. We're still, you know, moving all, all of our objectives forward, however slowly at times. Um, but we're still here, and that accounts for a lot. The look forward. All right, so first, um, one last thing in the review. Charity Impact, in spite of you know very little income, I still always do what I've said from day one when we restarted this. The charity benefit has always been there um, going back because that, uh, that was a lesson given to us by uh, our PR expert, uh, I think in 2013 or 2014. It's... So I started doing that immediately and has never stopped, even under the worst of circumstances. So last year's benefit was about $60,000 uh, to educational needs in the United States. It's never stopped, no matter how, how much or how little money is around, uh, comes in, that's always been done. I've never, never stopped doing that um, since we were told to do that, um, which is wise for a lot of reasons, and it's going to be apparent over time just how wise it was, <laughs> in fact. Um, all right, so there's that. Uh, the uh, 2022 look forward. So um, in the next couple of weeks, I have a video conference to discuss um, with the uh, mediator, the uh, settlement with the SEC. Again, a lot of positive sentiment on this coming from uh, Alper Chat and Chad and the lawyers working on it that we're going to be able to, to, to uh, resolve this. 
uh, sooner than, rather than later and favorably. So uh, I have a video call coming in a couple of weeks to hopefully get us, move us the next step towards that. So again, that's the, uh, the main trigger for uh, Alper to take over. So that's, uh, that could happen much sooner than the end of next year, which is my drop dead date. Rather, you know, it could happen in the coming months, in fact. All right, so um, our, uh, our illustrious uh, pain in the ass uh, lawyer Leon and his lawyer ha uh, have filed an extension to uh, answer the February 2022 or 2 February next month to file his reply in the Ninth Circuit. Uh, this is going to be a big fat check, another one. So keep telling yourself you're winning. Uh, self deception is a powerful drug. And listen up. This is never going to go your way, okay? You can keep telling yourself that you're winning, but I promise you, I promise you, 1,000% promise you that you will never, ever, 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 ever collect a cent on this claim. Never, okay? There is one material fact that is absolutely irrefutable, and no amount of lawyer mumbo-jumbo garbage is going, to get a, is going to make this fact go away. I was denied a trial. I was denied a trial, and as if that weren't enough, I was not even allowed to speak, and my lawyer was right there on the phone. Okay? So to sustain a default by force when the person is there with his lawyer and basically told to shut up, let me put it to you like this. God, okay, the big guy, it's not going to let that, not going to let that stand. So you can chase your tail all you want. You can continue to write checks to your lawyer and tell yourself how much of a winner you are. You're just going to dig a deeper and deeper and deeper hole until you fall into it. That's, that's what's going to happen. Because no amount of pages of lawyer jumbo mumbo jumbo is going to get around this one clear fact. Okay? On, uh, separate from everything else. It's like the SEC's no action. And the games they played, telling me to pull it down but not acting on it, that's the death of their case. Everything else doesn't matter. It pales. That's the death of their case right there. Okay? In your case, the fact that I was aggressively prevented from answering when I had my lawyer there with legitimate reason and I was denied with me on the phone, okay, with the lawyer on the phone, there and me on the phone, I was told that I couldn't answer and I couldn't even speak. Yeah. Sorry, folks. That's not going to work. So that right there is a violation of my constitutional rights, full stop. So it's just a matter of time before this is turned over in one way or the other, if it means filing a lawsuit a week for the rest of your natural life. You got it? So... That's how that's going to go. So just keep, keep, keep right that money that you're, you're spending. You're never, ever, 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 ever going to get it back. Okay. All right. So the final tally on the SEC case, 48, yes, with contact information. This is beyond the nominal threshold of 40, which I found is kind of the minimum floor. I've turned all this information over to Alper. And I've requested him give me his decision by the 31st of this month. Okay, so that's where that's going to be. I'm not going to make the decision. I just packaged it up and sent it over to him, and it's up to him now. All right. So, uh, all right. Now, on that also, additionally, I still believe that the way the Texas abortion law, which is being looked at by other states, including California, um, in terms of giving the general public standing, okay, this is this is uh, this keeps coming up in my head. I and I I passed it along to Alper for consideration. Basically, if you look at the way the Texas abortion law um, works, which by the way I'm in favor of, I'm in favor of, uh, it allows someone who's like a disinterested party who wouldn't normally have standing, like just the general public, to sue to stop abortions even though you're not like actively involved, like you're not having an abortion, you're not the parties to the abortion process. 
that is meaningful. It's so meaningful that California is looking at it for gun control measures and other states like Florida, I think, for uh, critical race theory. And so, so it's a legal tactic that's uh, something brand new. And in my view, it has bearing for us in the uh, SEC counterclaim if we pursue it and maybe others, maybe other matters as well. Okay, so ASM's total market capitalization on the 1st of January 2021 was about $21 billion total between both markets. It almost exactly doubled a year later to $42 billion. And no, that's not a result of a bunch of bonus, new bonus margin in the market because we've had ne- – I, actually, I don't think we've had anything um, in terms of programs this year or just a tiny handful of tests – which there may have been a little bit, but it doesn't account for a double. Absolutely no way. It's not even that. And as I've explained before, the cash balances go up and down regardless of the amount of bonus margin um, because people do treat the bonus margin seriously. Uh, they don't just waste it because it, they don't see it as real money. That's not that's not how it works. And in fact, uh, more than a decade ago, I had a, a pretty extensive conversation with Alper about this um, because I thought that people would treat it like it was, um, you know, not real and not valuable and therefore um, apply, you know, critical thinking and, and all that to how they spend it. It's actually not true. It's like, um, you know, even even fake money, supposed free money, which which that's not we, what we're calling this. We're calling it borrowed money. Remember, remember that the learning market is is just play money and the um, – the bonus margin in the in the pilot market is considered lo- loaned money. That's how I explained it in the video. So uh, they, in both cases, not just in the case of the pilot market, but even on the learning market, people do not waste it. You you would think that well, it's just monopoly money. That's not true. So um, they they actually consider their purchases and all that, and they're careful with it. I, I've and I've seen that just looking through account statistics and stuff. I see that to be the case. So the market doubled because the market doubled. Okay, not because we pumped it full of uh, uh, stimulus or bonus margin. So that's up about a hundred percent. So so much for the traders and saboteurs. It's not working out for you folks. Uh, we're still here, and it's and it's twice as large as it was a year ago. Um, so that's up 100% in terms of market cap. And in terms of the number of accounts, we started uh, early 2021 with about 12,200. And we uh, have about 13, we're getting close to 13,400 right now. So that's a, almost uh, exactly 10%. Um, just organic growth. That's, it's not exciting, but 10%, <laughs> what do you get on your savings account? You know? How much growth do you get on on your uh, bank account down at uh, at your local bank? So ten percent is 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 not exciting, but it's it's healthy. That's a healthy customer growth rate, considering we're doing absolutely nothing for it. It's just organic. And then finally, the um, final quarter of twenty twenty one, the uh, quarterly dividends were paid early this morning. The ASM learning market paid uh, three hundred twenty eight thousand two hundred four. And eighty cents, and then the pilot market paid two hundred fourteen thousand twenty six and ten cents. So that's all. Um, if you want to help us uh, support this mission, uh, in the you know, you can look in the show notes as always for links to uh, useful websites and stuff. And I have um, a couple of ways that you can contribute financially if you want to. There are links there if you want to do that. Um, every dollar helps as it stands now. I'm. St- Everybody on the inside is paying out of pocket to maintain this. Um, as you can tell, I have not been putting anything out there in terms of programs. So this is all coming out of pocket again, as it did about 10 years ago when nobody cared. So we would appreciate it. And again, um, every every time a dollar comes in, 10% of that goes out to uh, World Vision for the benefit of education in the United States. And right now they have a 14 times multiple through March, uh, matching. So, you know, if you give uh, $10 or let's say $100 is a round number, $140 goes back out uh, in terms of it goes back out in impact. So it's actually more than the money you put in. And it helps us to, def- def- you know, defer the expenses that we do have. And every dollar counts. Don't think it doesn't. It does. So um, thanks for your time. Oh, and I did, like I said, I added an, um, a new option in the contribution list, how you can contribute if you want to do so. So see that in the show notes. 
And uh, that's all for now. Thank you very much. I wish all of you uh, a, a, a good 2022. I still think we got some pretty serious challenges here, but um, I think you're going to see a bit of burnout in terms of the virus. I think it's going to burn itself out, start burning itself out next year. Um, I've actually, I said that to some friends of mine, actually to my family. Uh, and then I started to see some commentaries in the news about saying the same thing. And it was really just kind of a gut feeling that uh, this is kind of the last uh, big hoorah before this thing kind of burns itself out. So let's hope for that. Um, try to get back to some sense of normalcy. Seems like a thousand years we've been dealing with this, but the reality is it's been about two years now, uh, two very strange years. Um, and again, we're still here, and I consider that a victory because it's, uh, it's tens of thousands of businesses just in the U.S. that didn't make it. So be grateful. Be thankful. Don't be, uh, don't be a jerk. There's no reason to be a jerk, okay? We could have folded this tent up a long time ago and with valid reason and once again didn't do that. So... Uh, I do believe this is a mission that's far beyond just a technical thing or some sports contraption. I do believe that it is is divinely inspired. I try to I'm explaining that the best I can in the other podcast series. Um, this is not a tactic. This is not something. Um, I mean, I truly believe this. The, the 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 puzzle pieces have been put together in my head over a long period of time, and um, you know this is reason I'm here. That's why all the things I've ever done, every skill I've learned, every connection I've made, um, my risk tolerance, you know, everything that is required to birth something this significant. And I do think it's about the new sports economy. I do think it's about new job creation and new opportunity everywhere in the world, not just here. And I do believe it's about gambling suppression, which does nothing but harm people. It does nothing but harm people. It creates harm after harm after harm. And, um, you know, yeah, the God of Israel, the God I serve, stood me up for this role in this time. And I believe that with all my heart and soul. So scoff all you want. That's, that's the bottom line. And I believe it with every fiber of my being. So thank you for your time. Good luck in uh, 2022. And I'll speak with you again in two weeks. Bye now.